So while we still wait to get most of the world vaccinated, we're going to continue to see new variants of COVID arise. That happens because as COVID spreads between person to person and tries to replicate or copy itself, it makes little mistakes. Most of those little mistakes that the virus makes are not actually helpful to the virus. But sometimes the virus hits the lottery and it lands on a variant that actually enables it to last longer or outcompete the other variants. That's what we're seeing right now happening with the Delta variant, for example. It's more contagious and more infectious than the other variants. And so it is now becoming the dominant variant in this country. Thankfully, our COVID vaccines are incredibly effective at preventing infection, hospitalization, and death from the Delta variant. So right now the vaccines stand up really well to the existing variants, but we are in a bit of a race against time because the longer we have large populations who remain unvaccinated, the more likely that new variants are going to continue to arise that will be a problem, that will be more infectious, and eventually that may not be well served by our current vaccines. And so people need to get vaccinated now to prevent the spread of COVID to other people, but also so that the virus doesn't keep creating new variants, which eventually could actually be a problem for our current vaccines, which are so effective. The vaccine, it's not a light virus. This is not something that's going to give you COVID. No, no, what the vaccine is doing is just helping you make an antibody that will fight COVID. There are no microchips. There's no stealing of your DNA. None of that is happening. When you are given the vaccine and you get this response of either a headache or, or fever, this your body's natural way of trying to say that it is growing those immune um, responses to try to fight off the disease. It is safe. It has gone through the necessary research, but everyone wants to go back to normal to do that. And one step closer to do that was is by getting the COVID-19 vaccine. So the confidence in the vaccine comes from the research and the type of volunteers in which the vaccines were tested and approved. 26% of the volunteers on one of these research were Hispanics. It's good when you know that in the data that is being collected, it gives me a little more security not to only use it myself, but to recommend it to my community. So recently, the FDA announced that it's approved the COVID-19 Pfizer BioNTech vaccine for individuals 16 and over. Now, previously, the vaccine was being distributed under an emergency use authorization, or we also call that an EUA. Given the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, the EUA allowed the use of COVID-19 vaccines to uh, be administered to prevent serious or life-threatening disease. And certainly we've seen the great impact that they've had. What the full approval of the vaccine means is that the FDA staff scientists have had additional time to conduct an independent review, which included reviewing eight months of safety and trial data, time to follow those involved in clinical trials and early vaccine administration, and make visits to the manufacturing sites. And so with the full approval for a COVID-19 vaccine, the public can even be more confident that the COVID-19 vaccines work and are safe.